taxpayer dollars wasted? Not on his watch. Aiden Your Side's Mark Douglas is making sure your hard-earned money isn't going down the drain because you paid for it. The proposed penny for Pinellas will cost billions, but you're already paying thousands to promote that tax renewal. The November election will mark the fourth time Pinellas voters will decide whether to tax themselves an extra 1% to pay for some major projects. Well, tonight we're taking a closer look at the county's so-called educational campaign because you paid for that. So let's get this straight, Mark. You, you can't campaign no, for you this, can't. but you can educate me about it. What, yes, you can. What's the difference? Well, here? the difference is they're not telling people how to vote, Keith. Oh, okay. That's the difference. But they are spending your money to show off all of the things that the penny's already done and to suggest what it might do if voters renew it for another decade. From bridges to docks, parks to public buildings. Everywhere you look, Penny for Pinella signs are sprouting like mushrooms. We just want to make sure that uh, the public is aware of uh, what the Penny is, what the Penny does, uh, what the Penny has done, and what the Penny will do. Pinellas County staffers tell us they've spent about $5,500 of your money to publish thousands of glossy flyers about their proposed Penny tax extension. But there's one thing the flyers we've seen don't mention. The penny sales tax extension will cost you about $2 billion over the next decade. And the cost of those Penny for Pinellas flyers doesn't include the so-called educational signs posted on just about everything previous penny taxes helped pay for. A lot of these signs just seem to be popping up now just before the election. Is that coincidence? Well, the education component is obviously when we get closer to uh, the renewal of uh, the renewal vote coming up in November. Um, that's when the public is really needing to be uh, made aware of what the uh, information is about the penny. We keep asking, but Pinellas staffers insist the cost of all of those signs is impossible to calculate. Those signs were produced in-house uh, and um, and through our uh, public works and parks department. Well, I find that disingenuous. Uh, I don't find that acceptable. Penny tax critic Norm Lupo doesn't like the penny tax extension, and he sure doesn't like the hidden costs of Penny for Pinellas signs that he sees everywhere. I think we have a right to know. Uh, I know a lot of people would like to know. Whatever the signs may cost, that doesn't include the money that Pinellas County's 24 cities are spending out of their budgets to educate voters on the one-cent sales tax extension. Now, let's be clear. They talk about a penny for Pinellas. Yeah. We're really talking about 200 billion pennies for Pinellas. And I know you've been crunching some numbers yes, here. So, so break it down. I mean, if you're in Pinellas County, what's this tax really going to cost you? Well, if you figure, uh, if you factor out what the visitors and tourists are going right. to pay and factor in for population growth. Which is a growth, lot. Which, which is, is a lot, 30%. Right. Right. And you factor in population growth. It works out to about $1,500 for every man, woman, and child in Pinellas County over that 10-year period. Over 10 years. Yeah, that's a, that's a rough guesstimate. All right. Well, the vote's coming up. Sure. We'll see how they go. Thank okay. you, Mark.